Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. I'm starting off the show climbing above the city of Ida in central Japan. It's known as the city of precision technology because it's been designated by the government of Japan as being a model environmental city thanks to its ways for cutting greenhouse gas emissions. So I thought this is the perfect place to introduce our next story on a company known for its eco-friendly and precise ways for any citizen to tell time, as you're about to see. Human beings created the concept of time by observing the cycles of sun and moon. Today, it seems appropriate that we use the sun's energy to power timepieces like the wristwatch. It's an eco-friendly as well as a practical, sustainable idea. All watches require power, but very few consider where that power comes from and what impact it may have on the wearer and our world at large. Having something on your wrist that is a constant physical reminder of the passage of time grounds you in the present. It reminds you of the past and it makes you conscious of the future and those are the fundamental spiritual perspectives necessary to begin to walk on a path of sustainability. Watch innovations are of great interest to Jack Forster. As global editorial director at Watchbox, known by collectors as the definitive resource for rare timepieces, he's especially interested in a watch technology called EcoDrive, pioneered by Citizen Watch that enables watches to be powered by any light source, continuously and sustainably, eliminating the need to replace watch batteries and preventing millions of watch batteries from entering landfills each year. And I think one of the wonderful things that Citizen has done, and one of the most important things that it has done, is become a thought leader in light-powered watch technology, which is their EcoDrive technology. And uh, EcoDrive is the most sophisticated light-powered watch technology on the planet. Uh, Citizen has managed to integrate it really beautifully, not only as a technological achievement, but also as something that allows them to do things aesthetically that nobody else can do with watches. As one of the world's largest and most innovative watchmakers, whose original objective was to make watches available to ordinary citizens all over the globe, you can't really talk about Tokyo without mentioning Citizen watches. They're as familiar here as bonsai and origami. Now it's true, time telling is an ancient tradition, but as I found out at the Citizen Watch Museum in Tokyo, watchmaking is certainly keeping up with modern technology and sustainability. So within such change in the history we have seen over the years, in 1976, we came out with the first analog solar powered watch and with that, that was the impetus to actually create the EcoDrive that we see today. And EcoDrive is not just about solar power. It's about taking any source of light to be able to run the watch on people's wrists. When you have a quartz watch, you have to replace the battery every two to three years. But we have reduced incredibly the amount of batteries required to actually run the watch. And so, in other words, we were able to focus on what we can do for the environment. As a result of that, we've concentrated a lot of energy and a lot of attention on EcoDrive technology. And that technology now enables us to keep batteries out of landfills to the height of Mount Everest every single year. We've pushed the boundaries of innovation in EcoDrive technology and this light-powered watch can be found in the great depths of the oceans. You'll also find them with polar explorers, um, folk that are looking at climate change at, the, at really high altitudes. Our watches perform perfectly there. Citizen EcoDrive powered watches are also available to you and I every day. As time goes on, humanity's sustainable future will be defined by such products that harness light energy for power. And light technology is changing rapidly here at Citizen. It's being retooled for greater efficiency and flexibility. 
Eco Drive という製品はですね、まあ、電池の交換がいらないということで。Obviously, the Eco Drive is about requiring no need for regular battery replacement, and it's about providing less stress on the environment. But at the same time, in order for a watch to be worn by the people, it needs to be beautiful. We take focus on every part of the watch. How can we make it small? How can we make it more efficient? How we can make it thin so that we can get more latitude to the beautiful expression that the watch can have. Here at Citizens Watch Assembly Factory in Ida, Japan, it's easy to see why this city and this company are known for precision technology. A combination of high tech robotic machinery as well as intricate handmade assembly of each part of the watch is underway by individual craftsmen. And a supermeister with decades of experience in watchmaking, in a fascinating display of watch craftsmanship in action. I've seen the history of how the watch's demands have changed over the years, so the watch stays current. And with that, what was required was our ability to sort of up our game in terms of our assembling techniques. And that's always been the case, that we needed to make sure that assembling techniques are evolving with the times. By creating EcoDrive, it allows us to do something for the environment. With less energy, the watch runs for a longer time and actually improves the quality of people's lives. And I believe elevating our skills in EcoDrive is our way of sort of doing our part for the earth, for the environment. A watch that is friendly to people, society, and the environment. A watch that keeps on moving. The Citizen Factory lives in harmony with nature, the reason for the apple trees planted in front of it. Now, the apple may be a symbol of the city of Ida in Japan, but it's the pride that Citizen has in its precision watchmaking and environmental sustainability that really should keep us all eco mindful of the time we have on this good earth.